Consider the evidence of all this. Picture the evidence in your life. About their life before this accident. They're happy. They got normal problems. January 3rd, 2009. Their life was shattered and crushed. In the blink of an eye, like that. Unless they have to see. Everything changed. Stephen goes from being independent to dependent. To being self, from being self to being I need help. And it started that second. He's on the ground, he's screaming, Help me! Help me! Please, somebody help me. I'm dying here. And he was. He was dying. <coughs> the wife testified when she got to the hospital, what's wrong with Stephen? I thought he broke his legs. Well, I'm more sorry, ma'am. It's not just a broken leg. He uh, lost a lot of blood. He's in respiratory failure. Breathing through a tube right now, we got a machine breathing for him. He's got a hemorrhage in his pelvic area. By the way, his pelvic is completely crushed, like a roasted pig on a slate. His pelvic area is so inflamed with blood that we've got to do something to release it. His bones are all cracked. His pelvis is sideways. Record amounts of blood and fluids given to him to try to keep him alive. We're going to use a filter. Put a filter in. Try to keep him alive. Try to slow it down. We'll put the filter inside of his veins here. Try to slow this down. See if we can keep him alive. <laughs> 